All right, so now let's talk about a few definitions that we already remember probably uh, from our discussions in individual consumers uh, demand curves. So we're gonna talk about price elasticity of the market demand. So let's denote the market demand by Q, all right? So the price elasticity of market demand is basically described by this mathematical uh, notion. It's the partial derivative of the demand curve with respect to the price multiplied by price quantity ratio. So. Uh, the elasticity, the price elasticity of demand depends on the price and quantity level you pick. And obviously the slope of the, uh, uh, slope of the uh, elast uh, uh, demand curve at the picked or selected price and quantity level. All right. Well, first of all, I would like to recall or sort of note that the uh, price elasticity of demand is never going to be a positive or zero. It, it will always be negative number if the, this product is superior good for, uh, for the majority of the consumers. So if you remember the superior good, the definition means the quantity demand uh, and the price are negatively related, all right? So therefore the partial derivative is always negative. And so for any PQ levels, I know that they will be, you know, some positive, you know, price is always positive, quantity is always positive. So for any PQ level, because this ratio is negative, because the demand curve is downward sloping, elasticity should always be uh, a, a negative number, all right? So, well, the thing is, uh, one is what well, the elasticity equals minus one is kind of a critical point. We call goods where the elasticity at every QP level equals one uh, or at, the, at some particular level of P and Q. Well, we call it unit elastic. If the elasticity is less than my, minus one, we call this good elastic and if it is a greater than minus one we call it inelastic so intuitively elastic means basically uh, the demand of this good is highly sensitive to price changes so inelastic on the other hand means the, the the demand of this good is not so elastic it's highly inelastic or uh, 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 it, it is not uh, as sensitive, it's not too sensitive to price changes. Well, graphically, this is what it looks like. Well, obviously the demand curve doesn't have to be uh, a straight line, but let's suppose it is a straight line for simplicity. Uh, obviously everything is relative, but uh, we have, for example, this demand curve versus uh, this demand curve, all right? So what we can observe here if you pick the same price level P, all right, on both uh, uh, demand levels, what happens is that if you decrease the price, say, you know, 10% and make it P prime, all right, so the, the price change is the same, what happens is that the change in quantity is this much, all right, so this area, this, this length measures how much quantity will, will, will change. Uh, so this is, you know, one demand. So this is another demand curve where we have exactly the same level of price change. But as you see, the reaction of the quantity demanded is much larger. So the here in this uh, particular good, so these are two different goods, obviously, uh, or two different markets. I'm just comparing them. Uh, you know, in terms of how they react to the price changes. So here, as you see, this good is more sensitive, more relative to this good, obviously. So it's more sensitive to price changes than this good. So this good is relatively more inelastic than this one, or put differently, this good is more elastic than this one. All right, so we can uh, make the definition of elasticity more concrete and basically call if the elasticity is always less than minus one for every PQ uh, levels. Well, we call the good elastic, otherwise we call it inelastic. All right, so that's, that's the idea of elasticity.